Hi everyone, my name is Maggie Schneiderman and this is my presentation on schoolyard gardens. So what is a schoolyard garden? Well, it's just like it sounds. A garden that is located on a school premises or at least ran by a school that actively incorporates a learning curriculum into the hands-on work that naturally occurs in the garden. Some of the benefits of schoolyard gardens are teaching the importance of locally sourced foods, sustainability, and a sense of community in the younger generation, supporting healthier diets, and be, being able to teach both math and science lessons that grab and keep the attention of students involved. In fact, studies have shown that just being outside has some benefits of its own, like reducing symptoms and signs of depression while improving attention and focus in both children and adults. The Desert Oasis Teaching Garden, located and connected to Albuquerque Academy, is a great example of a school gar schoolyard garden in the area, with the goal of educating and unifying not just the school, but the whole community. Desert Oasis spans over almost two acres of land and began back in 2013. The garden works with the science department at Albuquerque Academy to ensure that students are not just having a great time connecting with their environment, but also learning about ecology, agriculture, life cycles, and more. Desert Oasis is also able to offer volunteer days out to the community so that anyone can come and be a part of the experience. Companies like the American Heart Association and Slow Food USA offer opportunities for schools to apply for grants to start programs like schoolyard gardens. They do this in hopes of reducing childhood obesity while empowering and building knowledge of important schools that will be needed for future generations. To get a program like this started, a school could gather a group of individuals with an assortment of skills and interests, gain the community support, which is needed for funding and job fulfillment, create a proposal and budget for the program, then implement it. Go back and evaluate the effectiveness of the program and plan ahead by looking toward the future of the program. To give an example, here is a possible schoolyard garden layout at a local school in Albuquerque, a Trisco Heritage Academy. I have also listed vegetables that grow well in the area and the average budget that is needed to start a program like this. Thank you for your time.